by not voting or absconding from voting for the motion? I would have voted in support, I mean not supporting the impeachment yes. uh, that day, but me and some other nine members uh, could not access the county assembly of Meru, simply because the atmosphere was changed and goods were hired to harass us. You have been uh, told about a Masai Mara trip. Yes. Are you aware of any Masai Mara trip? I've heard it from the council here. Did you go to Masai Mara? I didn't. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, that is all for this witness. Unless honorable members have a question, I would be glad to call my next witness with your guidance. Now, honorable senators, we have about five minutes to seek clarifications or questions um, from this witness. Uh, honorable Karungo. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Kinua, I know at the County Assembly of Meru, there are three modes of voting. That is yes, no, or abstinence, just like the Senate and the National Parliament. Now, you said you abstained, yet you have told us that uh, you are not able to access Parliament because one of you was attacked. Does that mean you are able to access Meru County Assembly later before the voting done, or can you clarify on that? Now, my initial plan, and that of other nine members making it ten, was to be in the Assembly to oppose the impeachment motion. Once we could get into the Assembly, that means we were absent. Maybe I've mixed up the term of being absent and abstinence. Senator Enokumbua. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I will seek three very quick clarifications. First is just to, for Josfa to clarify which political party he was elected on. Uh, secondly, Mr. Speaker, according to the report of the resolution of the County Assembly of Meru on the impeachment, 59 NCRs voted to impeach the governor. 10 did not vote. We, we wouldn't know how they would have voted if they voted. So all members present and voting voted against the, the governor. Is it your testimony in this house that all the 59 members of the county assembly of Meru who voted to impeach the governor were coerced or induced uh, to take the vote that they did uh, the second last is um, you make very serious allegations in your affidavit on paragraph 7 that the DG tried to induce you. What is evidence? And you make reference to several other members. Who are these members? Because people have names. You are called by the DG with several others. Who are these people that you are called with? And where is the evidence that he tried to induce you? Because these are serious matters you're dealing with. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Order of Senators. I am a member of Party of National Unity, PNU. Now, when we say that 10 were not, uh, could not assess the presence of the assembly, I mean, were they to be there, I believe they, have, they, they would have voted otherwise. The 59 of them who were present in the assembly that day and voted yes, I cannot say that all of them were coerced. I am drawing my conclusion from the talk that we had before the voting day. And I know the talk that majority of them had, given a free will, they will not have impeached the governor. Finally, in your questions, 
When I see the deputy governor made calls. Senator Samson Chiroke. Uh, thank you, 